You know, I don't play the game of basketball for money. You know, I don't play the game of basketball for fame. I do this because I love it. And obviously all that extra stuff comes with it. But, like, I view this as life or death. You know, winning and losing is life or death to me. And that's so the emotions that I play with, that comes with that. You you ain't about to die. And you're like, oh, okay, well, I'm dying. You're going to show some passion with that. And so that's how I view this game. I've always loved this game since I was two years old. And the passion and that fire, I always say when I lose that, it's time Time for me to hang it up. Man, it is, dog. Hey, man, shout out to Draymond Green, man. That was a dope Ray interview, man. I'm talking yeah. about, listen, man, old school throwback. He could have played 15, 20 yep. years, man. He he won them ones, man. Yeah, I Talk know. about passion, man. You know, we both two passionate people, people who gave gave two cents about when we played, very competitive. I know you. Um, you know, sometimes I feel like us, can you ever care too much? Because really, that's mm-hmm. what you're doing, you know. When a ref calls a call, and I'm and I'm, I'm speaking for me, you can speak. Right. When a ref calls a call, I feel like, in a normal sense of playing basketball, we wouldn't get. That's when I go off. When I felt like, you're 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 either you're either not calling it fair, or it's obvious that, whatever I'm looking at is what it is. But it's an obvious look. Like, wow, okay. Mm-hmm. That's when I get personal, and that's when. But you can never care too much. I don't want to hear that, dog. I, listen, I've seen too many people not care. Yeah. And, and when you yeah. giving that energy and when you getting that, and it ain't got nothing to do with all the accessories, and that's, that's what I'm talking about. I'm just, man. Talk well, about I know, the passion, I know man. More, more for me, my passion. I feel Dre with what he said. It's not about money for me. It wasn't about like we mentioned earlier. It's not about the Hall of Fame for right, me. Right. It was about winning championships, going to the championship, and just being the best player that I can be. Um, I know the media didn't like me. Uh, so I was always, you know, misconstrued. Oh, I'm a hothead. I'm this. I'm that. That's cool, cause whatever it was, if it kept y'all away from me, outside of y'all trying to do y'all job, I'm gravy with it. You know what I'm saying? Long as my teammates, my fam, my coaches, yo, they know what type of player I am. All right, yeah, I'm gonna get some texts, but I ain't gonna mess it up enough to the point where, all right, it's a big game and I'm gonna get thrown out the big game, or I'm gonna get suspended for the next game, which could be a big rivalry game, or, you know, something like that. I ain't going to take it that far. Why isn't the label passion, though? Why, why it's got to be out of control? Why you got to have words like uh, heated or, you know, it, never, it, it would never come off. The biggest thing I had when it came to, to you in the text, dog, it overshadowed who you really were, dog. You mm-hmm. was a hell of a player and hard as crap to guard. Appreciate it. And no, I ain't saying that because you not bust a lot of ass, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah, I no, like we think good. I bust your ass too, right? I don't know. So, right, nah, we ain't doing game. no cuss button you know. in here, right? Busting his ass. He busts mine, right? One game. What I'm saying, though, is the passion, though, man. You can't forget with these players that we talking about, yourself, Draymond Green, man, myself, these are passionate players that come out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's going to come out at some point. It's passion, bro. Look, this you got to look, look, at, who look at who it is as well. You got to look at the referees. They never seen nothing like this passion before. Mm-hmm. And you got to look at the media guy. Media, a lot of them never played professional sports before. So the so perspective. It's, it's, like, it's like, okay, say if, the perspective. Say if I came into uh, the Boston Herald or Boston Globe, whatever it is up there, and, you know, I'm on this one writer. Oh, man, you suck. Da, 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 da. That's a bad article you wrote. All right, well, then, you know, you won't come back at me like, yo, man, get out of here, man. You know, da 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 It's going to be oh, some protection of... So now, you know what I'm saying? So it's the same way when we out there. And I, I was always one to believe, if you got a guy who's a perennial all-star, why does he need your help with these extra calls? Hmm. For what? No. He can get it on his own. You know what I'm saying? If he's averaging 20, 25, whatever, you know, he's great doing this, doing that, he can get it on his own. He don't need you to blow whistle on, on some phantom calls. On some phantom BS. I just look at it like it's what it is. Yeah, it's passion. It's love. It's passion and it's love. And I love it when players care versus something else. And we need more of it. I would I would rather take a million Draymonds right. than to have one player on my team that's just there to get a check. Right. Every day. Yeah, he don't care if we win or lose. If we get blown out, if we lose by one. No, give me the Draymonds. Shout out to all the passionate players out here. Play with your heart. Nothing else. Every 21, we in here. The boy Rod in here. We doing it. 500. No, no bet. No. <laughs>